So today I'm going to show you what could be one of the most powerful tools in Microsoft Word is the text box. Microsoft Word sometimes feels like it just will not let you do what you want. And a text box is a way to get around that. What if we're in this situation? I've got some text here and I want to make three columns out of this. I don't want it to just be in the page, but I want two or three columns. How can I do that? With text boxes, it's really easy. I'm just going to select this text that I want in those columns, and I'm going to hit Control X. That's cutting it. That means if I hit Control V, it'll paste it back again. So, but we don't want to paste it here. So I hit Control X. Now let's draw some text boxes. Go to Insert, the text section. You'll see text box. Left click that, and I'm going to choose the simple text box. Let's move it over here, and let's make our column about this big, and remove any text in there. Just hit Delete. And then I'm going to go here to insert. I'm going to go to text box again, simple text box. I'm just going to drag that down. And then I'm going to delete that as well. And let's just do it in a third one just for fun. Uh, insert text, text box, then choose simple text box. So now we've got three columns. Let's just adjust them. We could, of course, make these even, but for now, I'm just going to throw these out there. They don't have to be even. It's however you want it. I'm going to delete this. Now, to, in order to do this, the one you are connecting to has to be empty. So I'm going to paste in this first one, hit Control-V. So here's all the information that we had earlier. It is now trapped inside this little box. If I drag down, you can see there's a lot of information, and it just keeps on going. But we can only view what we can see in the box. So we would like the rest of this to show up in these other boxes. So simply click this first box. This would be a great time to like this video and subscribe to the channel. It's quick, easy, and it's free. At the top, you'll see something that says format or shape format. Left click that. In this ribbon, you'll find in the text section, something that says create link. Left click that. And now your mouse cursor is a little picture. And if you mouse over a text box, it wants to pour in this area. So just left click there, and now it's poured in. We're gonna do that again by selecting this box and saying we want this to pour into this box. So go up back to the same thing, it's shape format, create link, left click, and then pour into this box. And so all these three are connected. If I go to the, this first part of this first paragraph and start hitting enter, for instance, it's gonna move them all down because they're all connected. Or what if I resized these boxes? I said, you know what? This box is only supposed to be this big. It's fine. So it just adjusts and puts and starts flowing from where it left off. Make this one bigger, make this middle one smaller, and you get the idea. It'll just flow to the next available box. So you see here I've got some sample text, but what if you wanted some text off to the side, maybe a quote if you're doing a newsletter, or just for some other reason you want text off to the side? Using a text box gives you a lot of control. In fact, sometimes I don't use text at all in line in the document. I just use text boxes, and I'll show you how to do that. So I'll go over here to Insert, and then you're going to choose Text Box. It's in the Text section, and it says Text Box. So left click that, it's gonna give you a lot of options and you're welcome to choose these other options but I really like the simple text box because if I left click there, it creates it and then I can modify it from there. Notice as I try putting it in the document, it's going to adjust the text around it so that I can put it where I want. From here I can left click inside of it and I can just type in my text, whatever I, I want here. And I can adjust this text box, what if I wanted to make it bigger? I can just mouse over this bottom part, left click, drag down, and now my text box is bigger. I can fill this with text. If you go to the very border of your text box, mouse over, you'll get this little icon. Right click on that, and you'll see options. Go down to Wrap Text. Notice I'm currently on Square, and that's why it's cooperating really nice. Sometimes you may just want something behind the text. Maybe you're going for a certain effect. Just fill that with some text, and let me put it back over. Notice the text is not moving out of the way. It's actually behind that text. I'm going to mouse over this border, right click, go to wrap text, I'm going to choose in front of text. Now it's doing just the opposite and it's in front 
of the text blocking what, what's behind us. There's some cases this may come in handy, but in this case, that would be kind of silly to block our current text. Let's right click, go to wrap text. If we choose in line with text, it'll pretty much treat it like part of the normal text in the document. It's a little hard to work with, hard to move around. The setting I like the most, that comes in the most handy, is going to the wrap text and just saying in front of text, typically. Uh, because I don't, I don't usually work with other text behind it. In this case, square would work the best. And we so we could just position it like so. But again, there's some documents I don't use text at all except text boxes. Now, how do I do that? So let's start a new document. We'll go over here to the text section and choose text box. Left click on the simple text box. And then so I'm starting to add, maybe I'm making a flyer or some kind of invite. And then you can put it anywhere you want to. I want it at the top of the page. And I want it to be uh, centered. But again, you've got this annoying box around it. Don't worry, that can be removed. So go to the border, right click on it, and just change your outline here to no outline. Now suddenly, it looks like you have text on the page, but really it's a text box. So you can do a lot with this. You can increase the font size and change the color. And then we can resize our box to fit that size. So I could put that title there. Notice there is no box around it. I could put a list of activities for the party. I can keep the, the box border there or I can remove it. It gives us a lot of options. So again, you add a text box by going to insert. You find the text section, you find text box, left click, and I would choose simple text box. I can move it down. And another great thing about this, if I type something, I can mouse over this icon right here, left click, and I can turn it. Unlike normal text, a text box can be moved totally around and you can still type in it. So if I wanna change this, I can left click, say hello, there is a party. If I click off to the side, it's gonna go back to that original position. Again, we could remove the text box so that you don't see these lines and that text would just be floating out there. And maybe that's what you want. So I go here to outline, go to no outline. And so now that's just floating out there. I can move it to a different spot, let go. Let's go up to insert once again, go over to text box, choose simple text box, and look at all the different changes that we could do. Let's change, let's change the border. Let's just mess with the border here. I just typed the word border. I'm going to click the border, right click it, and look at these options. I can do a fill. Let's make the fill like light green. And the outline right here, let's make it red. Let's go back again. We can actually change the weight of that. Maybe real thick. Click that again. We've got sketched versions of the line. And we've got dashed versions. This would be a great time to like this video and subscribe to the channel. It's quick, easy, and it's free.